Now then, every soap needs a matriarch and Curry's formidable Evelyn Plummer brings a touch of comedy to the cobbles. So much so that this morning we can officially announce that the one and only Dame Maureen Litwan has won the Inside Soap Award for Best Comic Performance. There she is Woo! with the award. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we speak to Maureen, let's take a look at why she's been such a successful recipient of this award. No, you're coming this Stop way. This Don't go back. <laughs> Sorry, I thought maybe I went out again. Take a seat. Uh, Roy's right. left this kitchen in a terrible mess. <laughs> Spotless. Yeah, I mean, he's overtidied it. Nothing's where it should be. Look, we're not after any trouble. Well, you'll find it if you don't sling your hook. I've got a cricket pack here. We your name on it. So what's up with your back, anyway? Oh. Do you know, I was forced to sleep in a child's bunk. Do you always hover like that? You've got a lot softer in your old age. Now then, I've got a reputation to keep up, you know. One hard stare from me will strike fear into the hearts of men. And women. Yes, I'm an equal opportunity tyrant, me. <laughs> She's just a fabulous character and a wonderful actress. Dame Maureen Lippman joins now. Congratulations! <laughs> Look at that! Sensational stuff. Turns out you're quite good at comedy. Apparently so. Apparently, <laughs> yeah, it's in my bones. How do you feel when you get awards like this for, um, for this character? Oh, terrible. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I mean, it's fantastic. It's a great show and I've got a great part. And um, this year they've given me quite a bit of meaty stuff. Ooh. Yeah, the death of the dog and, and also with the daughter, the drug addict daughter. So it hasn't just been one-liners. It's been sort of quite dramatic stuff. Um, I don't know. This award, of course, is not yet... Public because no. uh, this is it um, uh, because um, it's on uh, tomorrow night I think isn't yeah. it? no is it Monday Monday night Monday night, yeah, Monday night. It's, whatever it's you're not Kippur. present ah right? yes so I'll be fasting um, and they'll be eating coronation chicken <laughs> uh, so I can't be there so I've had to do it in advance you know which is well which we're is... thrilled that we could reveal that mm. to everybody you come in morning and we can celebrate it with you well that's nice that's that, that's very nice it, it, you know uh, who'd have thought really at my time. I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've relished being on and of course, you've got such an extraordinary history of uh, performance because sometimes people can be a little bit snooty, can't they? Less so these days about zero drama. I know you find yourself when you tell people in the back of a cab or out and about, you know, this is what I'm doing, they're a little bit, oh. Yeah, shame, yeah. shame, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, once you've got through a soap on COVID, Gosh. And you realise, because it's dark, you can't touch anyone, you can't have a cup of tea, you can't do anything. Once you've got through that, you realise how good the actors are. Cool. And, um, and now uh, I'm taking those actors, the ones who have agreed to a sort of... Um, to do a music hall in aid of Hope Mill Theatre, which is a great theatre, where I first did Rose. And, oh! I've forgotten something. I'm coming back to that. Kate, okay. I brought you this. You were oh. going to give me the award. I brought you that. That's my chicken soup. Now, that's my... <laughs> this <laughs> my is yours! Breaking you the made fast it? chicken oh. soup. That's for you to give to Derek. To... Oh, that's amazing. This yeah. is like... It's this... gold dust. This is gold dust. There was it? a lot more, but I spilt it on the dressing room floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, spraying in there because it smells <gasps> so good. I yeah. cannot wait. That's yeah. some... Did you know? That's so amazing. That, yeah. It's just brilliant. So it... you, you would have this at the end of the fast. Beginning, end, whenever. All yeah, the it, way it's through. It's a universal panacea. It can, it can cure. It really I can. Love I love I ate only that when I had COVID. Anyway. Chew, that's so, amazing. <laughs> so, uh, with pleasure. Uh, so, anyway, the, I've got some of the actors, some of the great actors from yeah. Corrie. That's um, um, Jodie Prenger's sing. It's a music hall, a proper old-fashioned music hall. Brilliant. By the way, um, there are some incredible singing performers in Corrie as well. Right. What a list of, of, of the cast that are joining you this celebration of the music hall. We've got Jodie Prenger singing My Old Man's Just Follow the Vine. <laughs> and we've got uh, Shelley King and we've, uh, she's uh, Yasmin, you know, she's singing I Was a Good Girl Till I Met You. <laughs> Jamie Kenner, who played Phil, is going to join me with the comparing. I've got some witty uh, badinage, you know, from the... It, she's scintillating, she's sensational. All that stuff that some of us remember from the good old days. Yeah. 
Uh, and the kids, little kids, you know, Paramaniac Hope, she's coming on <laughs> <laughs> to sing um, uh, Don't Jump Off the Roof, Dad. Uh, and the whole thing is because Hope Mill Theatre have had their grant cut mm. completely, right. like uh, other theatres have. And we have to save it, because it's a beautiful little diamond of a theatre. And this is Manchester, and you're doing it on the 1st of October, aren't you? A couple of weekends' time. That's right. Why particularly musical? Is that a massive passion of yours? It's a thing of mine. I, I, I think the, the, one of the great healers in life is a sing-song. Mm. And I really believe that. And, and Giles Randreth and I, you know who I mean by that? He's a sort of low... You know, yes, it's a low quiet. profile. But yeah. Yes, it, no, uh, yeah. few people Unassuming. Know Unassuming. Yeah, quiet, yeah. You never see him. Um, <laughs> like he... a nit. <laughs> a thick nit. <laughs> Did you call him a nit? <laughs> uh, anyway, he and I want to do bring back Music Hall and uh, oh, wow. we're pushing to try and do that. So this will be a kind of tryout. He's not with us because he's entertaining the masses in Basingstoke or somewhere on that night. But uh, it, the idea of um, variety... Mm. I loved that when I was a kid. I loved to see the strong-armed men and the... You know, do you remember that act with the three boxes that people used to come on and just go... You know, I mean, it's, it's stuff for all the family. And it's heritage as well, isn't it? I think yeah. my mum's cousin uh, does a music hall night at the Players' Theatre here in London. I'm, I'm, she goes regularly. And I you remember, do an act I'm, No, 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 no. Right. I, so I sit there <laughs> and it sort of wa it washes over me and I, I just, I'm immersed in stuff that I grew up hearing. I can't remember yeah, seeing it first time no. around, but I know the songs, I know the words, yeah. I've seen those acts. It's just something in us that I think it's just, it's such an extraordinary experience. It is. And you get someone like Sue Devaney singing Gracie Fields' number, you know, it's gold. Get yeah. those tickets while there are still a few left. Amazing. You say about a, a, a good singer, so I'll be a genuine healer. There, there is a theme, isn't there? There, there? There's very few religions that don't have singing or humming mm. or something at their core. It does do something for us, and we've seen the success of choirs, haven't we? Absolutely. For healing and helping yeah. people. Uh, uh, and for, uh, you know, uh, making friends and for getting mm. on with you. And actually... Um, there is something physical about it. My granddaughter will always say to me, uh, Momo, you're growling. And, oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. And I realise that I'm doing that voice exercise where you... Mm, I don't think anyone can hear me. But <laughs> I, I sit in the back of... I sit in the back, and I, do, I don't know I'm doing. Mm, That's an exercise. Maybe I thought my mum was just snoring when she did that. <laughs> She's falling asleep. It causes this to vibrate, doesn't it? It causes everything to vibrate yeah. and you feel calmer. You know, wow. uh, and you're right, you're right. Nothing like a good sing song. I mean, you get it, and you get it at the, the Rugby World Cup's happening at the moment in sporting environments, in any sort of sporting arena, nothing mm. bonds a crowd. Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline, which <laughs> have a rebirth from everybody yeah. singing it, whether it's at the boxing, whether it's at the rugby, whether it's yeah. at the football. It's, 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 it's a We human beings, feeling. we need to do something communal. Yeah. Mm. And this will be communal, and hopefully it will save the Hope Mill for uh, a bit longer. Well, until we can take the Arts Council mm. and jump on them. Yeah. Now, look, <laughs> we must ask quickly, cos everyone will be wondering, when you're back when on you're Corrie, back. Uh, when are they going to see you back in? Uh, am I not in it now? Well, I mean, you've <laughs> I been off for a while. Week, have I? You've been off for a while now? I, I thought... Someone told me I was in it this week and it was all about Tyrone and how... I forget. I've been in it for five years. But you've had a bit of a break. You've had a... Well, you've been oh, well, off I did Rose. doing Rose. Yeah. That was, that was um, a, a labour of love and, you know, just... I can't tell you what joy it gave me to have those incredible words in my mouth of that one-woman show. Mm. And to get back to Corrie took a bit, a bit of adjusting. Well, I'll do it again. I'll do Rose again, you know. It's just one of those things. It's in my, it's in my soul. Amazing. Uh, yeah. Lovely. Maureen, thank you so much for coming in. Congratulations you. on your award thank as well. You. Thoroughly deserved. Yeah. Lovely and to see thank you, thank you for the soup. Thank you very much for having me, as they say on every single interview on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right then.